Good morning, Millennial Falcons. Welcome to this terrific Thursday. We hope your day's off to a great start and we appreciate you joining us. Speaking of joining, we'd like to welcome back Ms. Galliano. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you have a great day and thanks again for always supporting all of our classrooms. Next up in the cafeteria, we've got two cheese, two cheese, so that's two cheeses, grilled cheese sandwich, pepperoni pizza power pack, the quadruple P is back, and the vegetarian garlic and herb, Alf, I'm guessing Alfredo, um, but it cuts that off right there. So it looks like we got some pasta, looks like we got the pepperoni pizza power pack, and a grilled cheese. If you are going to be eating outside today, well, I shouldn't say that. The people who are going to be eating outside today, we're going to look at the orange column today. Remember, columns go down, rows go across. Uh, if we take a look at that, it looks like Miss Merrick and Miss Seymour are going to be out there for the first lunch, Miss Sophia and Miss Brinkley for the second lunch, and Miss Olney and Miss Beth for the third lunch. I've got an important announcement, and it kind of goes along with something I wanted to pull off today. The plan just really came together this morning. I'm happy about it. So we have a poetry contest. Uh, Miss Merrick and some other friends are leading that. So teachers, if you haven't started to get some submissions or talk about it with your kids, that's okay. We still got like two weeks, um, but we want to encourage people to enter the poetry contest. The winners from our school are going to be published in a district poetry book. So very cool. And we'd love to get as much representation as possible. Now, speaking of poets, February is also Black History Month, and it came to my attention this morning that one of our most famous poets um, is a lady by the name of Maya Angelou, or Maya Angelou. How many of you have ever heard of her before? All right. She's a famous um, activist and poet. She did, unfortunately, pass away back in 2014, um, but she has beautiful writings, and poetry really was her style of writing. And I want to share one of her poems. A lot of her poems are more, um, I guess, geared for adults in terms of just uh, the deepness of their content, but this was one that was really written with kids in mind. So I want to read this to you, maybe spark some of those poetry interests in you. This is a poem called Life doesn't frighten me. Let's see if I can get that. No, oh, that's not going to work too well, is it? Oh, come on. Yeah. My paper doesn't want to shift right there. But there's a picture of a dinosaur with a crown on its head. All right. Shadows on the wall, noises down the hall. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud, big ghosts in a cloud. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose, lions on the loose. They don't frighten me at all. Dragons breathing flame on my counterpane. That doesn't frighten me at all. I go boo, make them shoo. I make fun, way they run. I won't cry, so they fly. I just smile. They go wild. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Don't show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. I'm afraid, I'm not, or if I'm afraid at all, it's only in my dreams. I've got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Not at all. Not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. I cut that a little bit short just to uh, make sure we kept your attention, but perfect example of a, a rhythm to a, to a story. And poetry is just a unique way of writing. So uh, have your, your teachers are going to introduce you to different writing styles. We'd love to see you doing that. How many of you were able to picture that in your head? Lots of times good poetry really uses words that create images in our head. So thank you to Maya Angelou for giving to our culture and our communities uh, and sharing your talents with us. We want to celebrate you today. All right. Speaking of celebrations, we like to celebrate so our behavior. We've been really uh, focusing on people showing that accountability outside and showing that respect outside. Accountable by picking up after yourself and respect by, even if it's not yours, making sure that we take care of our place. So I didn't put my timing in here, so I'm the, they're right there in front of us. Thank you to Usman and to Reagan. You guys spent your lunch recess yesterday, apparently, making our playground beautiful. We appreciate it. Love the picture. That, that just makes me, that puts a big old smile on my face. So that's a great way to end our announcements. 
celebrating each other, celebrating great poetry. You guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to turn on over to Miss Butcher's class. And uh, you guys, as always, soar high.